So I have here two in-play power supplies, a GP550 Pro and a GP300. The GP550 Pro has a rated power of 550 watts and is an 80 plus bronze certified. It has 12 months warranty and that's probably its lifespan. Top power supplies have 5 years warranty because that is their lifespan. This is a cheap power supply with an 80 plus bronze rating, so it is something you can buy if you're on a budget. But I can only recommend this power supply to a unit with a 1060 graphics card or lower. You can check on its box its information because you can't really find them anywhere since InPlay doesn't have a website yet. All I know is that it's a Philippine company but probably owned by a Chinese businessman. So let's open it. The packaging is actually not bad and you can see here the power supply and a power cable. I don't have an extra PC right now to try them on and stress them out but I have here a tester to at least tell if they are defective or not and make sure they are not shorted. I will also show you how I can check it with a jumper. You guys can use any wire or a paper clip. I have here a video tutorial if you want to check it out. This power supply doesn't have a switch but is plugged in my AVR so I can just switch it on there since it has a switch. So plug it using the power cable then look for the 24 pin power connector. Now put the 24 pin jumper on. Face the power supply fan where you can see it then switch it on. Viola! It's working! As you can see the fan is spinning. It is a bit dark. Uh, let me turn on my flashlight on so you can see it better. The fan isn't too loud as well so that's a good thing. Now let's turn it off then test it with a power supply tester. Just look for the 24 pin power connector and plug it in the tester. This power supply tester powers from the power supply so if you don't get any display in the tester then there's a problem with your power supply. Of course it could be the power supply tester with a problem as well. So make sure that you have a working power supply tester first. Now that the 24 power pin connector is plugged, you should see a negative 12 volts and a plus 5 volts. Now this PG is the amount of time it takes for the power supply to get a good voltage. And as you can see, it is at 300 milliseconds. That's less than 500 and higher than 100. That means it's good. Plus 5 volts shows 5 plus 12 volts shows 12, plus 3.3 volts shows 3.3, so that means it's good. Now I will try the CPU power supply, look for the 6 pin, plug it in, then you should now see the plus 12 volts showing 12 volts. Now the GP300 has rated power of 300 watts and a generic power of 850 watts. It also has an 80% efficiency mark which is kind of confusing. I'm not sure if they just put the mark there just for advertisement, but it's not really 80% efficient. You guys can just tell me in the comments down below if you know. Well, what I understand is that 300 watts is its rated power and 850 watts is its peak power and it's 80% efficient getting that power range. Anyways, I wouldn't really recommend using this if you have a decent CPU and a graphics card considering how little we know about this power supply and how little we know about InPlay as a company as well. And you know what? I will treat this as a generic power supply even if it has that 80 plus certification mark in its box. But it's definitely good enough for budget builds. So I will now test it with my tester. Uh, just plug the 24 pin power connector and yeah let's see if we get the right voltages so 12 volts shows 12 5 shows 5 and the PG is 260 milliseconds which is also under 500 and above 100 milliseconds the rest shows the right voltages as well now I will plug the CPU power supply as well to see if it shows plus 12 volts and there you go, it's the right voltage as well. Well, that's it in this video. I hope you learned something. See you on the next one.